Victoria. Tokaron Prison has often been described as a hotel for a powerful criminal gang. It has a disco, a swimming pool and even a zoo. Authorities say the notorious Tren de Aragua, which is believed to have around 5,000 members operating in at least eight Latin American countries, has trafficked drugs and planned extortion rackets and kidnappings from inside the jail. And the situation is so bad that 11,000 heavily armed troops from the National Guard raided the prison. Many of the inmates' wives gathered at the jail gates. We are very afraid because their rights are being violated. There are visitors, children and pregnant women inside. The policemen, those guards that had passed by going there towards the prison, they told us just now that they were going to kill all of them inside. Reports in the local media tell of soldiers stealing inmates' belongings and robbing those who gathered to show support for the men. My husband told me the authorities were going to take the prison, so I should get my things ready. So I brought everything, including money, but the police robbed me. All I want to know is if he's alive or dead. Weapons were confiscated and 6,000 inmates will now be transferred to other prisons. Venezuela's interior minister told local TV the operation had been a success. They were subjected to the law. They have their rights guaranteed. We respected their rights. This has been an operation where we have guaranteed the life and tranquility of the people who live around the prison. We have managed to guarantee the safety of the prisoners and now they're going to another prison. Human rights groups say Venezuelan jails are 50% overcrowded on average and lack adequate facilities for inmates. They also suffer from institutionalised corruption from within the prison service. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.